Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a little look at how we do column addition, okay? So just a little bit of a refresher if you're doing or preparing for a half-term test or anything like that. Uh, so let's get cracking then. I've got four examples here. First one here, 431 plus 157. So as I mentioned, we're going to use the column method to do this. So I'm going to put my 431. And remember, when you are using the column method, you have to line up the hundreds with the tens and the units as well. So line up the hundreds, the tens, and the units. And I'm going to put a little plus here just to remind me that's what I'm doing. And then my little line there, just so I know I can separate the answer from the question. Remember, we always start from the right-hand side. So 1 add 7 is 8. 3 add 5 is 8, 4 add 1 is 5, so our answer is 588. Now when you're doing this in the exam, lots of people might make the odd mistake, and because they think it's addition and easy, they won't check it. So make sure you do check your work. Most people have time, just redo the calculation, make sure you haven't made any silly errors. Okay, let's have a look at this one then. So, let's write out... 4,692 and again a very common error is now mismatching uh, the 129 but remember hundreds tens units this is my hundreds column this is my tens and then the units so make sure you line it up correctly plus and then my line just to separate them out and here we have the first interesting case so on the right hand side here I have 2 plus 9 which gets me 11 now, most people are happy with putting the units there, the one, and then they carry one over. Now, some people put it on the bottom here, some people put it underneath here. I put it at the very top. Okay, so 2 plus 9 is 11, so tens is there, units there. The reason why I put it at the top and why I encourage everyone to do this is so you do not forget to add it next time you do, or when you go over to add this column. Okay, if you put it down here on the bottom, I've seen so many cases where people forget to do it. So stick it at the top and make sure you remember. Okay, so let's do it then. 1 add 9 is 10, add 2 is 12. So the 2 goes there, carry the 1 over again at the top there so I don't forget to add it now. 1 add 6 is 7, add 1 is 8, and 4 add nothing is 4. So I have 4,000. 821. Okay, let's have a look at some decimals then. So, I'm going to write the first one out. 32.8. Exactly the same thing. Line up the units. But this time it's even easier because you can line up the decimal points. So, when I line up this next one, it got 7.76. Now, when you have something like this, and it's especially useful when you are subtracting, I would always just fill in the gap at the back there with a zero. Just makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. So zero add six is six. Eight add seven gives me 15, so five, and then carry the one at the top so I don't forget to do it now. One add two is three, add seven is 10, so zero, carry the one, and then one add three is four. Don't forget though, if your decimal points are lined up here, it's also going to be the same in your answer. So 40.56. And just one more to have a look at, just slightly uh, bigger numbers, just to illustrate the point. So 748.15. Again, line up the decimal points, all the tens and the units. So seven is in the tens, two is in the units. And I've got my 0.618. I'm just going to fill in the zero there. Zero add eight is eight. One, uh, sorry, five add one is six. One add six is seven. Decimal points. Eight add two is ten. So there's my zero. Carry the one. One add four is five. Add seven is twelve. So two. Carry the one. And then finishing it off with one add seven is eight. So. 820.768.
Okay guys, so hopefully that was just a quick little refresher of how we use column addition. Remembering to put your carries at the top so you don't forget them. Start from the right hand side and don't forget to check your answers at the end of the exam because these are very easy questions to make mistakes and lose easy, easy marks. Okay, thanks for watching.